As I mentioned in the previous lesson, the Building Analyst Standard includes requirements intended for contractors installing measures. Because BPI 1200 only details information related to audits, these installation requirements are not included, though in some cases it does require that the auditor make similar recommendations in the audit report. Let's run through these various requirements. The Building Analyst Standard begins with a list of worker safety requirements. These include personal protective equipment and tool safety, as seen on the screen. They also include requirements regarding safety data sheets and procedures for dealing with hazardous materials found in houses like asbestos, lead, and mold. Now, all of these items are still covered in other current standards, including envelope professional. So they still apply to BPI compliant jobs, even though BA is no longer a standard of reference. In addition, they're redundant to federal regulations enforced by OSHA and the EPA. Because of that, a reasonable case could be made that they're unnecessary to include in the BPI standards in this level of detail. The BA standard also includes several requirements about testing that must be done after air sealing or other envelope work has been done. This includes blower door testing and combustion safety testing. The BPI 1200 standard includes a similar statement about blower door testing, but because the scope stops at the audit, Instead of requiring the testing, it only requires that the audit report include a recommendation that the testing be done. Post-installation combustion safety testing, on the other hand, isn't mentioned in BPI 1200 or in the other BPI standards. Of course, most energy efficiency program rules require it. The BA standard also requires that building tightness calculations be completed after retrofits to determine if mechanical ventilation is necessary. BPI 1200 doesn't mention repeating the ventilation calculations after retrofits. However, it is mentioned in the envelope standard, and again, most programs require it. The BA standard includes a statement about unvented combustion appliances. It implies that contractors should not complete any weatherization work in houses where the customer is unwilling to disable or remove a functioning unvented heater. The BPI 1200 standard also includes detailed requirements for unvented heaters, but they only relate to the audit. They include visual inspection procedures in section 7.8 and a recommendation for removal for large or unlisted heaters. It also requires that auditors inform clients of potential dangers of unvented space heaters. Section 7.9 of BPI 1200 includes testing requirements for these heaters, from which the auditor can decide whether repairs or removal are necessary. As you saw earlier, the BA standard includes a statement about when and where carbon monoxide detectors should be installed. BPI 1200 doesn't address carbon monoxide detectors at all, nor do any of the other skilled building performance standards. Hopefully, most programs capture this requirement in their rules. The BA standard requires that contractors test attached garages for connection to the living space and seal any leaks that are found. BPI 1200 states that auditors must recommend thorough air sealing between the garage and living space. The BA standard requires that contractors not install attic ventilation unless there's an effective air barrier and insulation to separate that attic from the living space. A very similar statement is also included in the envelope standard. BPI 1200 includes statements about attic ventilation too. It requires auditors to assess whether the existing ventilation complies with the current version of the IRC. And if a recommendation for adding attic ventilation is included in the proposed work scope, steps to ensure a proper air barrier and insulation must also be included. I'm sure you're getting the idea now. BA requires contractors to do the right thing during installation. 1200 requires the auditor to recommend that the customer do the right thing when they hire someone to do the work. Let's take a look at a few more examples. The BA standard requires contractors to properly seal between an attic and the adjacent living space before adding any insulation to that attic. Again, the envelope professional standard includes very similar requirements. I know this sounds really similar to the last requirement, but it's a bit different. If you want to add insulation, air seal the attic. You can do that without adding ventilation. 
but if you want to add attic ventilation, then the attic must be insulated and air sealed before it can be done. BPI 1200 requires very similar recommendations. It says to include a recommendation that air sealing be completed or installed prior to insulating surfaces. Interestingly, the BA standard shifts to BPI 1200 type language regarding duct sealing. Now it says that when duct sealing is recommended, the work scope must include pre and post installation duct leakage and system airflow testing. Why the difference? I would guess it was just an oversight and they intended it to be a requirement for contractors. Similar requirements are included in both the envelope and AC heat pump standards. BPI 1200 has broader duct requirements. First, it always requires duct leakage testing at the audit, and it provides a few options for test methods. And it requires that auditors recommend static pressure testing after any air sealing is done. However, it doesn't say anything about recommending post-retrofit leakage testing to verify the effectiveness of the work. Both standards address insulating ducts that are outside the thermal envelope with similar statements. But again, the BA standard requires that they must be insulated to a minimum R5 as part of the work scope. BPI 1200 says that for ducts located outside of the pressure boundary, recommend R8 insulation at a minimum. From this review, it's clear that significant installation requirements are lost in the transition from the building analyst standard to BPI 1200. Some of them are captured in the envelope professional, heating professional, and AC heat pump professional standards, but others are not. Many are still noted in BPI 1200, but now they're required recommendations instead of required actions. These include post-retrofit combustion safety testing, post-retrofit ventilation calculations, carbon monoxide detector installation requirements, and sealing and insulation of ducts in unconditioned space. Because BPI no longer has a clear document that lists items that must be done during installation work, it may be useful for programs to include a list in their documentation that covers the items that they believe are critical. And hopefully at some point in the future, BPI will issue a separate document that lists these type of requirements for installation contractors.